Hopefully just a quick little video here to give you a little bit of direction as far as navigation. What we have for you is about the first 50 pages, which is not quite even half, of the 1960s Devil's Diary. Now these are not going to be placed on this particular site. This is an older site, but uh, it was more convenient at the time. Um, we're going to place these on VintageEvanston.net and EvanstonRedDevils.com, which is not quite live. We'll try to get that up today. But as you can see, this is the 1960 Devil's Diary. Um, kind of bucked a trend by putting something other than Devil's Diary on the cover. Moments to remember. And the reason I chose 1960, very simple. My mom's senior year, and she also happened to be the chief editor for this particular Devil's Diary. And uh, used some innovative qualities, I guess you would say. Um, a black background on the pages rather than white. So when you get here, you'll think, well, that's kind of small. And you'll see this click to read. It'll be in the middle of the page when you open it up. But if you click that, and then you can turn the page. You, you can go down here to the thumbnails. You can move by this or the arrows on the end. Wanted to get that. That's the main thing we wanted to show you here. Um, and you'll say, well, that's... You know, that's not like even having one in hand. That's pretty small. Well, we've got you covered there. Um, the slider here. Or you can just simply double click. So say we double click here. And then it will turn automatically into a hand. And as you can see, this is a picture from their 10-year reunion in 1970. Not real high resolution, but it doesn't look too bad. And you can even go larger. I don't know why that popped back. I think I accidentally hit that. So... If we want to take it all the way up, it might get a little blurry there, and it might be kind of hard to navigate. Well, it pulls on down, but um, that's the kind of content we're going to add. It'll be, you'll have the, uh, so again, you can double click, um, or you can use the slider. You can go page to page with these arrows, with the arrows here, or with the thumbnails, and you can jump ahead. Like you'll see 28, 6 through 51, and down here we have 1 through 120, or 25, rather. But what we're going to do with this, rather than just having the yearbooks that you can zoom in on and uh, see with much more clarity than maybe what you could even holding a Devil's Diary, an actual Devil's Diary, in front of your face. We're going to add in um, memories, and I'm going to invite anybody who has memories, because this one's going to be the demo, absolutely free of charge. It'll be cover to cover. If something spurs a memory, um, I'll give out a phone number, and we'll have you call in. Or uh, with some people like Mike Anderson I've talked to, i uh, like to go interview him about what he remembers playing alongside his uh, late classmate Gary McLean as they both uh, were standout Red Devils. Bob Holmes, perhaps, too, one of my favorite coaches. Uh, get my mom to talk about some cheerleading and, and maybe some of the others that uh, she cheerleaded with. But, yeah, it's to share the memories. That's what will make this go. Um, so we can add in uh, interactive content. This was just from a Sagebrush Theater production in the uh, Evanston Cultural Arts Center at the Strand um, as a fundraiser, but it was Sounds of the 60s, and these girls sang some acapella, so I thought, that's apropos. We'll drop that in. Here's a short version of the school song. So those things will be added in, and we'll see more of that kind of content. Now, some of these scans I'm going to have to redo. I wanted to keep the uh, interior spine look for the book, um, but I uh, got a little carried away. They get a little better as we go through here. Like, that one's not too bad. But again, you can, uh, you can really zoom in and see... Um, some detail might get a little grainy, so we're going to experiment with some different types of scans. But we're going to make this a series of, and not just Devil's Diaries. There are other things we can do this for, and, and I'll have some demos on that as well. But uh, this is where my focus will be for this, is is on the Devil's Diaries. Many people uh, do not have some from the years they were in school, and they might just want to check out, um, you know, other eras, other yearbooks. And so that's the service we're going to try to provide here. But again, this one's absolutely free of charge, so check it out if you'd like. I'll drop the link in so where you can go to it. But uh, this way you'll know that um, when you get there, it's really not that small because you can bring it up uh, just about as large as you'd like. So thanks for checking it out. Happy holidays. We'll talk to you next time around.